Aloha and welcome to week four of Living in the Now. Thank you for tuning in, whether you have been with us live every week or you've been listening to the replays. It's really great to have this community of people who are focused on living their best life in the now. And last week we talked a lot about the, the negative chatter that tends to run around in our minds and know that that happens to everybody. That is all of us. We all uh, have that, that mental chatter that's going on. And last week we looked at ways to kind of stop the pattern, stop the chatter. And maybe you've had some progress with that this last week of just simply noticing it. The first step is really becoming aware of where we are not being present, where our mind is in the past or where our mind is in the future, right? A lot of times uh, our worry about the future is affected by our experiences in the past. And so when we can come into the now with clarity, a peace of mind, a consciousness and tapping into that true self, our future is much brighter. And so that's really what we're going to be talking about today. Or more importantly, we're just going to be practicing because we can talk about it all we want, but it's really the internal talk that matters. And so perhaps you've been using the guide sheets and you've been writing affirmations. I know many of you are working with your, your own affirmations that you've maybe created, particularly in this new year. But I want to encourage you to take a look at those and see, are you writing them in the future? Or are you writing them in the now? Affirmations are always more powerful if you can say, I am healthy instead of I will be healthy or I am abundant instead of I will be abundant. So look at those affirmations that you're writing and see if you can reframe them in the now. Claim it as if it's already happened. And today's techniques, I think, will really help you to feel that in your body, to harness the power of the now, and to, once again, put that mental mind chatter that's not serving us or any past experiences that aren't serving us, help to put those further and further into your rear view mirror. So today, let's just get right to it and do the practice. And starting with a comfortable seat. So it, again, you can do any of these in a chair. If you're seated in a chair, make sure you're kind of sit, seated towards the edge of the chair where your back is not resting back. And it's often helpful to be on more of a firm chair versus a couch or a cushy chair where your, your back might be kind of caving in. It can be kind of hard on the lower back. So sit up nice and tall if you are on the floor like I am. Uh, using a bolster or rolling up a blanket is helpful. And just find that comfortable seat and know that if at any time your legs start talking to you, it's okay to move around. This is your practice. Be comfortable. Uh, and you will become increasingly more comfortable in these seated practices as you practice. Your body will become used to it. And that's for those of you yogis out there, that is really one of the purposes of the physical postures of the asana of yoga. It's so that you can cultivate a longer and longer seated practice. So let's begin by bringing our palms together. And I like to start with just rubbing them together, creating a little bit of energy, a little bit of heat in the palms. And then bring the palms together, resting the thumbs at the heart center. And if it feels appropriate for you, you can close your eyes and just begin to feel the sensation between your two palms. Feeling the energy move. And start to notice your breath. Without making any adjustments to it, just notice your breath. Become the observer of your breath, inhaling and exhaling. And as you notice the breath, you might notice that it tends to slow down. And at this point, you can start to deepen the breath, inhaling through the nose, exhaling through the nose, inhaling, and exhale. 
exhaling. Spine is long, breath is deep, deepening with each breath. And if you are working with an affirmation, allow it to rise, in, rise up in your consciousness and affirm it, affirming it in the now. Whatever your deepest heartfelt desire is, claim it for now, as if it has already happened or is happening. Continuing to ride the wave of your natural breath for a few more moments, inhaling and expanding, exhaling and releasing what is no longer serving you in this moment. And committing to taking the next 25 minutes or so to simply be present with these practices that are so powerful. You can open your eyes, go ahead and drop your hands down. And the first technique we're going to start with is alternate nostril breathing. So you're going to use your index finger and middle finger and your ring finger and your thumb. So the index finger and middle finger will come right to the forehead, that point between the brows, kind of center of forehead, a little bit lower though. And you're gonna use the right thumb to close the right nostril. And then when we close the left nostril, you'll use the left ring finger. So I want you to start with closing the right nostril, inhaling through the left, Closing the left nostril, opening the right, and exhaling. Inhale right. Closing the right nostril, opening the left, and exhale. Inhale left. Close the left nostril, open the right, and exhale. Inhale right, close the right nostril, open the left, and exhale. So keep moving with your own pace. If you get confused at all, you can start back with inhaling up that left nostril, completing the whole cycle. As if you're going up and over a rainbow each time. And just stay with the breath. Stay present. This breath is powerful in that it balances the left and right hemispheres of the brain. Both our feminine and masculine side, our creative and analytical sides. Helps to rewire neural pathways. Continue to breathe, keeping the breath deep on the inhalation and the exhalation.
to one more complete cycle of breath where you're inhaling the left and exhaling the left to finish. So one more complete cycle. And after you finish that last cycle of breath, release the hand down. Let go of controlling the breath and come back to your natural breathing, but still mindful and aware of how the breath is rising and falling. Just noticing. The next breathing practice we'll do is a timed exercise and we'll actually do three different variations of this technique which is called cosmic breath. So we'll do cosmic breath one, two, and three. It's actually very simple but it's a really powerful breath. It's a powerful breath for grounding you in the, in the now and really harnessing uh, all your mental, emotional, physical mana or uh, prana as we say. We're going to activate that energy, activating every cell. You're going to really start to feel this through your body. So just be mindful. You can always slow down or even go a little faster if you like. The first technique is going to look like this. So if you're going to take an inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth big forceful breaths. And you're gonna let your body move with the breath. So we're gonna kind of exaggerate that opening of the chest as you inhale and the contraction of the belly and slightly contracting the spine, dropping the chin down as you exhale. So inhale, you're opening, gently lifting the chin, exhaling, rounding the back slightly, drawing the shoulders in, really kind of tucking that diaphragm in, dropping the chin, exhaling all that air out. So think of exhaling all the toxins, all the, the mental, emotional, and even physical toxins out of your body. Okay, so we're gonna time you. We're gonna do that for two minutes. At the end of two minutes, we're gonna take a deep breath in, hold the breath at the top of the inhalation, and we're gonna breath hold for at least 30 seconds. So I'll cue you at the 30 second mark. If you've been practicing with me for a while, you can probably hold this for longer. So you can hold it for longer if it's feeling good to you, but at least we're gonna go for 30 seconds this first time on the breath hold. Okay, here we go. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Inhale nose, exhale mouth. Inhale nose, Exhale, mouth. Go ahead and close your eyes if that feels comfortable. Keep the spine fluid. Breath deep. about one more minute. Keep going. Inhaling to energize, exhaling to release. more seconds.
Take a deep breath in through the nose. And hold the breath. Keep the face soft, shoulders down away from the ears, holding the breath, stay present. And that's 30 seconds. You can release the breath, but keep the eyes closed and the awareness fully present. Or if you've practiced this before, you can continue to hold. Now that's been one minute, so come back to your organic breath. If you were holding, just find the ease of movement in your breath once more. And when you're ready, we'll go ahead and open your eyes and talk about the next variation of this breath, which will also be time. So these are all done in either they can be done in two or three or four minute segments, depending on how long you're doing the breath holds. So, but each time you want to do the breathing technique for at least two minutes and then hold the breath for a little longer, a little longer, a little longer. So you may notice on this next iteration that if you held it for 30 seconds, I'm gonna cue you at 30 seconds, but I'm also gonna cue you at the one minute mark. So see if you can hold it a little bit longer. You're gonna build your breath capacity each time you do this breath. Okay, so this next variation, you're gonna inhale through the mouth, exhale through the nose. Inhale through the mouth, exhale through the nose. And again, you're gonna keep the spine fluid with each inhalation and exhalation. Really think about almost like if you're, if you're using your body like bellows, right? This helps to deepen the breath even more and really contract and push out any stale air, any negative energy, negative toxins that you're holding on to. Okay, so here we go again. Four minutes. Well, we're going to do two minutes breathing and then an extra minute of hold if you can go for the hold. But remember, listen to your body and do what works for you. Okay. Inhale through the mouth, exhale through the nose, inhale mouth, exhale through the nose, inhale through the mouth, exhale through the nose, inhale mouth, exhale nose, mouth, nose, mouth, nose. Stay with it, big deep breaths, keeping your eyes closed. When your eyes are closed, your focus is more inward. Stay with it, big deep breaths for about one more minute. Inhaling to energize, exhaling to release. Thirty more seconds. Take a deep inhalation, this time through the mouth. 
and hold the breath. Holding the breath. If you feel dizzy at any time, you can drop the hands down to the floor, fingertips touching the floor. That's 30 seconds. Stay present. Faces soft, shoulders away from the ears. Stay present. Be here now. the breath. Come back to your organic breathing, nice and soft. No judging, no analyzing anything, but just being present with how you are in this moment. Allowing any thoughts to drift out of the mind as easily as they're drifting in. Simply being present with your body in this space, in this moment. And we'll come back to opening our eyes. So you can learn this next technique. So this is the third uh, technique in the Cosmic Breath series. And we're basically gonna combine one and two. So we're gonna inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth, inhale through the mouth, exhale through the nose. Okay, so it's a circular breathing, complete circle. I'll talk you through the first rounds, and then you'll go on your own. Again, you can move the breath a little faster if that feels easier, or you can slow it down if that feels better to you. We'll go for two minutes. And this time I'm going to cue you. I'll cue you at 30 minutes or 30 seconds. I'll cue you at one minute, and I'll also cue you at a minute and a half mark. And again, if you've been practicing this for a while, you might can even go to the two minute mark. Make that perhaps your goal this week if you're practicing this technique. See if you can increase your breath hold and get up to the two minutes. But I'm gonna cue you at each point, 30 seconds, one minute, a minute and 30 seconds, and two minutes, okay? So here we go. Inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale through the mouth. Exhale through the nose. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. Inhale, mouth. Exhale, nose. Nose. Mouth. Mouth. Nose. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. Inhale, mouth. Exhale, nose. Inhale, nose. Exhale, mouth. Inhale, mouth. Exhale, nose. Keep moving with your own breath. About one more minute. Keeping a fluid spine. Opening the heart. Rounding the back. Staying with it. Feel the power of your own breath. Stay with it.
30 more seconds. Make these your deepest breaths yet. Inhale deeply through the nose. Hold the breath at the top of the inhalation. Hold the breath. About 30 seconds. Keep holding. one minute keep holding or release the breath and simply practice mindfulness keeping your face soft spine long That's 90 seconds. Continue to hold if you can, feeling every cell being energized by the power of the mana or the prana that you've generated. That's two minutes. Go ahead and release the breath, but keep your eyes closed. Coming back to your organic breath. And in this present moment awareness, allow your deepest heartfelt desire to arise in your consciousness and notice whether it comes with a visual what does it look like How does it feel in your body if you are living your heartfelt desire now? The future comes to you now. You can create it in this moment, experiencing it in every cell. Sensing what it looks like and what it feels like, perhaps even what it sounds like. There might even be a smell or a taste associated with it. See if you can engage all your senses and live it now. And bring the palms of your hands together once more, pressing thumbs to heart center. 
And again, if you are working with an affirmation, affirm that now in the I am, the present moment. Connecting that statement of affirmation with the feelings that you are sensing. The past is nothing more than a memory. And you can choose to point yourself to that memory or you can choose to point yourself to this heartfelt desire for your future and create fertile soil to plant seeds of the future right now by grounding yourself in this present moment harnessing the power of your breath. And harnessing the power of your mind. Take a deep breath in through the nose. One long exhale through the mouth. Offer yourself some gratitude for taking this time today to nurture your mind and your body and your spirit. I thank you for being with me on this journey and to live in the now. Again, when we are living our best lives in the now, we are supporting others in doing the same in our families and in our communities and ultimately in our world. So thank you, aloha, and namaste.